now. Here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Brian Madrick here. Your headlines for Saturday, January 8th. January is National Blood Donor Month. Saturday, state reps from Missouri and Kansas kicked off the hashtag Give Life Casey campaign in partnership with the Community Blood Center. They're doing their part to spread awareness of a nationwide blood shortage. If you would like to donate, you can go to the Community Blood Centers in Olathe, Overland Park, Kansas City, Blue Springs, Gladstone, Topeka, or St. Joseph. Springfield, Missouri hospitals are seeing a spike in EMS calls. Health leaders there say COVID calls tend to come in when patients experience more serious symptoms like shortness of breath or trouble breathing. COVID calls sometimes lead to paramedics contracting COVID-19, which leads to fewer ambulances out in the community. Greene County had 200 additional calls in 2021 compared to 2020. Experts say at this rate, 2022 could be worse. St. Louis's largest hospital system suspended elective procedures because of the COVID surge. This is the second time during the procedure that BJC Healthcare has postponed elective procedures. Across BJC's healthcare system, more than 500 people are currently hospitalized with COVID-19. That's between four major hospitals. Your forecast is next. Thanks, Brian. And tonight the drizzle will come to an end. Then it's going to turn much colder, but I think most of the water on the paved surfaces will dry out before it has, it has a chance to freeze. We'll watch that. There could be a couple of spots in the morning and then sunny, cold 28 Sunday, 40 Monday. How about 54 Tuesday, 56 Wednesday, 58 Thursday, 50 Friday with a chance of some rain. Yes, we could make a run at 60 degrees. Unbelievable next week. And then a storm there Friday, Saturday, chance of a little rain, maybe a little bit of snow. Have a great rest of your weekend.